All right, so this is lick number one. We call it the E minor sock hop. Um, we're going to be using some uh, root notes of E, some minor sevenths of D in different places on my bass neck, um, some minor thirds of G, and kind of moving around a little bit. I chose this as my first lick to show you all today because it's kind of going to incorporate a lot of the techniques I'm going to be talking about throughout this program. So we're going to get started right here. And I uh, hope you enjoy this kind of zone in on what I'm doing. And then I'll kind of break it down here in a little bit and explain to you exactly what I'm doing a little bit slower. Okay, on this last track, um, what I'm doing is, it's basically based around an E minor pentatonic. You've got your low E here. Um, uh, what I'm doing is I'm, with my index finger, I'm popping from a um, D on the seventh fret on the G string up to a ninth fret E. And one little thing I wanted to bring to your attention that I'm doing, besides just going with the uh, the pull off pluck between each pluck I'm creating another percussive rhythm with my hand by coming down on the string like this and that kind of gives gets a line a little more movement and kind of grooves a little bit more all right so then it goes from there two low E's thumping on the low E So then I'm going to uh, D, the seventh of E, obviously, a minor seventh of E on the uh, A string, fifth fret. And on this, I'm doing a couple little techniques I wanted to show you that are kind of neat. Um, first off, the two Ds, I'm not just hitting two straight down thump Ds. I'm hitting the one D with a downstroke thump with my, with, my th with my thumb on my right hand. But then... When I come back up for the second D, I'm coming up on an upstroke, almost like you would if you were holding like a pick in your hand, like that. Now between each one of those, I'm, I'm doing another percussive thing. So much of like with thumping, you know, everybody thinks it's all based on the right hand with the, you know, the thump thing, but a lot of it has to do with what you're doing with your left hand with these little subtle rhythms you're doing, this being a good example. Um, as you see, I'm kind of coming down almost on a, um, with my uh, left hand, like a ghost mute on this B on my E string. You don't really want to hear the note, but... And that creates another rhythm. So you've got, you know, like that. Um, then I'm moving to a, just a pop on the G fifth fret on the D string. Low E, pop twice on an E on the D string. Just like the, some of the other examples, um, I'm between each pop, I'm doing kind of a ghost mute. And then I'm um, just hammering up to a G minor third, nice little groovy note little bit of a bend there to give it a little bit more kind of vibe to it popping up to a low G and then we're back at the head again all right so here is the whole lick slowed down quite a bit and you'll get to hear all those little intricacies of uh, each one of those mute notes Actually sounds pretty cool slow too, you know. All right, now we're going to go up to a uh, uh, normal tempo where, where we had the groove at. Two, three, four. And there you go.